If you're anything like me, you were pretty excited for Metaphor Re Fantasio demo that dropped on Steam, but I was really disappointed when I booted up the game and I was getting a lot of stuttering. I'm not sure if it's going to come through too well here, but I'm getting like little pauses every few seconds and it was it was quite noticeable uh, when I was trying to play. There was a good one right there. It doesn't seem to have any audio glitching. I know I'm not putting the audio through the video right now, but the audio was playing just fine, but the video would have these little like half second pauses and then it would like jump and catch back up. And it was really frustrating. I was not I went in and I downed all the settings. I'm running a pretty beefy machine here. I've got a 7800 X3D from Ryzen and I've got a 4070 Ti Super GeForce. There's no reason that I should be getting stutters on a game like this, especially when I turned the graphics all the way down. It was very frustrating. So I have three things you can try to maybe mitigate that fact. And I don't know what the exact cause is, but this is what allowed me to stream the game. And I've got the full five hours I streamed yesterday up on the channel if you want to see how it ran. And I was able to play both through the game and with my green screen active, my camera active, and I don't think I had any real problems there. So, okay, here is my first tip for you. Make sure that you have enough memory. So uh, when I first booted in, I was a little bit high. I was running a bunch of things in the background because I didn't think the game was going to be very demanding. So just make sure that you're not maxing out your memory. Now, mine's really full right now because I'm recording and I've got software in the background running, etc., etc. But just make sure that you're not maxing out your RAM and that you have RAM available. Uh, big things like Chrome or uh, other browsers can really eat up a lot of RAM. And if you close those, that'll help, especially if you are not on a fast SSD or NVMe drive and you're running off something old. It's going to really, really struggle if it's trying to page file things. So that's step number one. I don't think that's the stuttering problem in general, but just start there and make sure that you've got enough resources. My second tip is make sure that your system is recognizing that Metaphor Refantasio should be on high performance and it is not on something lower. So on my system, I generally just run it in high performance mode. But oftentimes, if you haven't gone in and tweaked Windows, this is Windows 11, by the way, but I think this would apply to any of uh, older versions. Make sure that you either in general run your video card and applications in high performance mode, or you can come in here. I went system, display, graphics. I did not originally find Metaphor Refantasio here. I had to browse and I had to go find the executable file. If you're unsure how to find that, you want to go to Steam and you're going to right click. You're going to go to manage and you're going to want to browse local files. And that will take you to the file that where you installed Metaphor and you're going to want to find the EXE and you can copy that path to get it in here. So I've got mine in here and just make sure that you go to options and make sure it's on high performance. Um, if you're on power saving mode, you see here it's trying to default to my integrated graphics on my Ryzen CPU. This would be absolutely terrible uh, for this game. You really want it coming through your video card. Once it's on here, you can hit that options button. Yours may have showed up um, like other games I've got against the storm, uh, Power World, et cetera, et cetera. These were all on here by default, but for some reason, metaphor wasn't recognized. So I had to browse in and grab it. But this wasn't what actually solved my problem. For me, what solved my issue, if we come to processes, and we find Metaphor Refantasio, then we can right click it and we can go to details. And then in here, this is the detail screen. I'm on the task manager, by the way, so control alt delete. In here, I went to Metaphor, I right clicked it, and you need to go and find set affinity. This is going to show you all the cores on your processor. And for me, what I had to do was I deselected all, I Force the game onto CPU zero. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go back into game, which is going to un unpause the process and it's going to try to run. It's going to be terrible right now. You can, I think you can even see my mouse skipping around right there. Then you're going to alt tab back. I right click it again. I go to set affinity and I just turn all my cores back on. Click okay. And let's see if that worked. 
So we shouldn't see any more skipping around of the video. It should be nice and smooth. You can see the little floaties are nice and smooth. They're not jumping around. And it appears that you need to do this every single time you start up the demo. It did not save between it. I fixed it two or three times while I was testing before stream and I just showed you here live. I'm not getting any of the jumping around. It ran just fine. Like I said, I streamed for five hours yesterday. Didn't seem to have any particular issues. So that seems to do it. It seems to be something with the core allocations. Uh, as mentioned, I'm on a 7800 X3D. So that's a little specific. It's got L3 cache and maybe that was my problem and it wouldn't affect you. But th those are three ways that hopefully you can get that stuttering to stop so you can get in there and check out this really cool game. Um, I think it's pretty neat. Hopefully we will see a patch for this issue before the game actually comes out. I will say if this had been um, a launch and I had paid for it, I'd be a little disappointed that I had to go through all those hoops uh, for something that's not frankly that demanding of a game on a very beefy system. But for a demo, I'm OK with that. And hopefully this will help a few people be able to get in there and enjoy it. It's a very generous demo. I think you could probably get six to seven hours if you go, went all the way through everything you could possibly do in the demo. So check it out and enjoy. If one of these tips helped you, let me know. Or if you had a different way that you were able to find that could fix the stuttering, maybe leave that in a comment below and we can help some other people get through that. OK, this has been Babel Builder. Hopefully that helped. If you're interested in Metaphor and you haven't looked at it, maybe check the video that should be popping up somewhere here that shows my stream from yesterday. All right, take care, builders, and I'll see you in the next one.